On to race number seven, there are plenty of chances in this upcoming race. It's pretty open. It's over the 1,400 metres, and again, it is for the class four horses. Casemiro, for that man, Paul O'Sullivan, who we just heard back in race number six on the class drop at the top of the book. Great treasures on the class drop as well. The old boy's now a 10-year-old. He's had a couple of trials as well, as has all. Land Powers, one of two in the race for Casper Founds, with Green Envy being the other one just above him. Joyful winner. He was a horse that has won first up in the past. Telecom Cheetah, no trials. Go Go 16 has had a gear change. The Blinkers and the Tongue Tie go on. And brilliant China, Matthew Chadwick takes the ride for Benno Young from a wide draw of barrier 13. Dog. Speed in this race, well, there's only really one candidate here. It's Unicorn Baby, and he's actually drawn a gate. He's had some shocking draws of 10, 11, 12, 13. He's got gate one this time round, but I think his opposition will be wary not to give him too much of a cheap lead because he could capitalise on that uh, unicorn baby. Uh, Ali King Prawn is uh, down there on the inside from uh, gate number five. He's very close to a class drop. Green Envy should be handy and so too is stablemate Land Power. Scholar who's got no form is going to have to try and come across from gate number 14. I think they'll stretch out a little further than illustrated there. Go Go 16 should end up somewhere midfield uh, with the blinkers and the, the tongue tie on. But I think they'll be a little wary of leaving it, it up to a unicorn baby to get some cheap sectionals. Well, some of these opposition include Paul, Green Envy and also Brilliant China coming out of this race. Green Envy just kept going good races last time in. He did, didn't he? He won two of his last three. He won a really good race and he sort of behind some of chairs he was back a bit um, over a shorter distance. Back to the 1400 metres he won again. So the last two times he's been over this strip, he's won. Uh, look, I found a spot for him. He's going nice enough, Joe Maraboard. He was there to be shot at in this race too because he hit the front of fair way from home and Gracie Love couldn't peg him back. I thought the run of Brilliant China was quite good. He was making ground from uh, sort of beyond midfield. He was slightly held up on the home turn. He's had a quiet trial coming into this, but uh, he certainly wasn't the worst in that race. And that trial was behind nervous witness of Brilliant China. We move on Tom to Brilliant China again, who's just in behind them turning for home and a horse that Paul is always keen on, Go Go 16. Yeah, we'll leave Paul to talk about Go Go 16 with uh, the gear changes, but uh, Brilliant China here. This wasn't a, a bad effort uh, at all from him. Uh, you've got uh, Victory Scholars uh, there who won this uh, particular race 7 8 uh, 2. But he's certainly uh, developing and continues to improve. He's just got that awkward stall to overcome, which was uh, sort of the reason I left him out in the end. Yeah, me too. But I wonder if they go forward on him and try something, put a bit of pace on. But I did like the run of Gogo 16. Uh, he's out of a Zabil mare, so it's fresh up over 1400 metres looks ideal for him. And those gear changes did catch my eye as well. He'd be a price, I think, as well. This horse, Paul, he's hard to catch as far as winning goes or he's quite often running on at the end, but his trials have looked very strong. Yeah, and look, I, I've liked uh, what I've seen in the off-season of this horse. I think he's had a really good preparation coming into it. He's trialled really well, as you'll see from this. I think he's uh, definitely going in for me, or especially from his barrier, barrier number two. Yeah, Blake Shin's been on board in both of those uh, trials, and here he is coming down the outside. He's finished off. He's, he has been asked to do something over the final stages, but he has responded with uh, plenty of merit there, I thought, uh, or just a, a one-time winner, so he's not been easy to catch. But when he was asked to quicken there, he ran on quite well. 22 starts he's had for that one win, but it's Go Go 16 for you, Paul. Sticking strong? I am. I'm going to make him the each way play um, Go Go 16 because, look, with those uh, changes, he's looked good in the off season, and maybe this can be his season. So, uh, this, what's he, 12 and 5.3 at the moment. So hopefully, that will, will stack up. Uh, or uh, I've seen plenty from him in the off season. Now, Unicorn Baby, if he does lead and gets it his own way, wanted to include him as well. And he has been placed fresh up in the past. And Green Envy just was going so well at the back end of last season. Open race, so each way in this, about the 10 go-go 16 for me, Tom. Very similar numbers. Didn't quite have Unicorn Baby in, but uh, his uh, trial up behind Decisive 12, he bolted up in the final race at Happy Valley the other night, wasn't too bad. Uh, Green Envy goes in. Uh, number six, uh, he's pretty consistent normally. Uh, go Go 16, number 10, he gets in with those uh, gear changes and he wasn't too far away last time out. Joyful Heart, uh, I've included him. Now, he was at the rear and wide. He loomed up. He's always in the market, this horse. I thought his recent trial up at Chung Fa was OK. And number five, Orr, was uh, next best. So six, ten, eight and five. He's won three races, Green Envy, and the man on board for all of those three wins has been Joe Marura, who also partners him in race number seven.